when I looked around, it just didn't occur to me that I was looking different than the others. Southerners, uh, people accepted this is, this is the way life is. We had leaders in, in the white community and leaders in the black community who were dead set on uh, things going the way they had been. Uh, integration was a dirty word. Uh, people who were involved in trying to do anything at that point were called communists. There was just so much stuff there that it was hard to get people together to talk. Who among us would be content to have the color of his skin changed and stand in his place? Who among us would then be content with the counsels of patience? The Rose Parks just scoots over. Bus driver says, are you going to give me up that seat? And that's when she says, no. And he says, well, I'm going to have you arrested. And she says, you can do that. And he kept telling us to move to the back. And so he, he moved another block. And he got out and he went in the store. And he came out and the police came. And uh, the police got on and we were then arrested. We heard in the police car that the people, and they didn't say people, were getting on the buses all over the city. And I mean, there was a lot of activity and static and all the sirens were going. And there actually were, some people say riots, but there were a few raggedy houses that were burned down, a few businesses that were burned down. It was as close as Columbus has come to civil discord. When we got here, I heard a student say, we are being integrated, here comes a, the N word. Because I said, if you choose to be prejudiced, then I have to deal with it like that. If you didn't, then we got along fine. When you go to a white person house, make sure you go to the bank and not pull your hat off. That's what they were taught. That's the way I was taught. We always ride to the end of the line, which the end of the line was the amusement park. I didn't understand that why we couldn't get in. A lot of whites all over the country and people forget this, a hell of a lot of black folks disliked Dr. King at that point. Really? Because Dr. King had, mm. had sort of, he had moved into a new era. Uh, he had taken the wrongs that occurred to blacks in this country and had internationalized it. What was the reaction? Oh God, the good always die young. The fact that I was a pallbearer, it was amazing. We're told that if you don't feel that when someone uh, spat on you, to not participate, if you could not turn around and look with them with love in your heart. If you couldn't do that, stay on this side. If you felt you could, we can stay there for further training. It gets to be such a big thing that we're going to always be trying to, to talk and work things out. We just got to keep doing it. We just got to keep doing it. That's, that's, that, I don't think there's a beginning and an end. It's an ongoing process. Thus will be restored the image of America and of all its parts as one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good night and thank you very much. One of the things we decided we could do was we could change the world, and so we're going to start with Columbus. 